Okay, step seven. Three diffs, looks quite nice. Two parts, aluminium, looks great. Good quality like always. Minimal flash and uh, yeah, should be no issues. So, let's get building. Okay, here we go. First step was to put on these C clips, which I did. Didn't obviously want to put them on on camera. They generally fall, fly off, so I uh, put them on whilst I was just recently. Make sure these down all the way. Sometimes I notice that these are a little bit funny and they didn't really go on properly. That's done. Okay, rear axle housings. Yeah, there we go. So we get the rear drive shaft here. That's number B asking us to put. Bearing there. And this, like such, uh -huh. it carries a bearing there nicely. Alrighty, that's that one done. Same thing to this side. So find another bearing, always lose them. Sorry about the noise, guys. Had a runaway bearing. Let me just try and find that. Okay, before I put those bearings on, I forgot to do this step. It's very important. A little shim here, three millimeter shim. So it goes on just like that. And then this bearing couldn't find it because it was a wrong size bearing. It goes in here. And then like that. The longer side, same deal, little shims, these are so hard, so easy to forget, so make sure and they're pretty important in the build. This goes here, like that, you can't forget, good old bearing, like that, and then they can go over. Okay, time for some more grease. So it's stipulating in the manual to grease up the ends here. Give it a thorough coating like that. The other side as well. that they're ready as well and we've got to put these in as well so the extra differential gear and the pinion the bevel pinion gear has to go in so time to loop her up as well that sounds pretty bad but anyway <laughs> like that and one as well. Okay, ready to rock and roll. Put that down there. Give the good old hands a wipe. Alright. It's always a fun part putting the uh, any gears in. Always find it enjoyable. There we go. Don't forget that bearing, it's pretty uh, pretty important. We'll provide the right size. There we go. And then match it up with this beauty. Make sure it's freeing nice and spinning nice and freely. 
which it is and then we can put these in just generally slide in there like that see this shim is important because it stops the movement just here it goes in between that bearing and before here so it doesn't it's got less slop try focus that camera just in there okay next side like that and we can test it out it all works well hate covering these up because I just love looking at gears and how they work but that's how that goes okay and the little pin the little uh, to lock the diff it's right in there so you feed little grub screw down there locks onto the shaft and then you put another grub screw up in here on the top top plate like there alrighty looking good Okay, now because I want to lock this diff, I want to put this differential lock in here. So we've got to find the hole, which is right in there. Just got to feed that through there and do it up with a little allen key that's provided. But before I do, that's right. Can't forget the good old Loctite. You don't want that bad boy coming out inside. Inside there, that's going to be fun and games. There we go. It's always the messiest part of the build, but I enjoy it the most too. There we go. So now she is locked. This diff. See, I can't turn it any either way now. It's locked and loaded. So this is for the uh, so the rear. So the rear one I want to be locked like this. The front I'll leave traditionally so that's it all good check the shims are in place everything's where they should be and then these two get married together ready for the next step okay bolt this thing together can't forget our Loctite it was important you got to watch out because there's two different size screws here and I got caught out when I was doing these actual differential gears I had to, gears, I had to pull it out because I had the wrong size in there but all good, lucky I found it and uh, we can move on so, smaller ones and the longer ones go in here I like this gel type that Tamiya supply. Seems to work well. I've hadn't, have never had problems with it, so can only be a good thing. Lock these ones down. And I hope you guys are all enjoying the build. I love doing these, as you have. I don't know if you've seen my other videos with my tanks, my Tamiya tanks anyway. They seem to be the really only kits that you can buy nowadays in kit in uh, in, a, in tank forms, like for tanks. But uh, I always enjoy building nearly as much, or maybe as much as actually running them. So there we go. Now these longer screws. 
go in here, let me just double check, yep, four BA5s, and they go in the outer, yeah. Like that. Get them all lock tied it up. And put them all and screw them down all at the same time. Because really you don't, you should never open up again un, unless something goes wrong up in there. It should be locked for good. So I'll tighten those up and show you how it looks. And I'll put these two in as well. Okay guys, there's the uh, finished assembly, as you can see, she's all locked up, all smooth movement, and uh, the final step, up, apart from all the screws, is putting this little, what are these called again, <laughs> slipped my mind, or well, that anyway, <laughs> but that's it. Oh good, I'm not gonna, I won't do another video because it's it's for the front diff, it's exactly the same process. So I won't need to uh, put you through that again. But there you go. If my battery on the other GoPro runs, doesn't run out, I'll, it'll, it'll be on the uh, time lapse video anyway. So there you go guys. Next step done. So that'll be step seven and eight. Front and rear diffs. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.